AC TV setup box and even my camera has an IR remote that I use on a daily basis. Now that I started using Xiaomi Mi 5 with an IR blaster, I thought to control all these devices using my phone itself. However, the default app is not that great and does not list majority of the devices if you're from outside China and the story continues with almost all the other Android devices that we have. So today I will talk about three third party apps that you can install on your Android to control your IR enabled devices. Let's get started and have a look. Before we begin. Just wanted to let you know that these apps might not work on all the Android devices with IR Blaster. Your phone manufacturer needs to enable IR hardware to be used by third party apps. The first app in the list is Anymote, which is a smart remote control app. This app is one of the best universal remote available for Android. And the major re reason behind this is the amazing interface the app provides. It's so easy to find the device that you wish to configure the remote for and once on the home page you'll find all the devices that you can connect to and it also includes air conditioners and even DSLR cameras. Not only that, in the settings menu you can add automated tasks like mute the volume on the TV or music system if you are getting an incoming call. The app has a lot of devices that you can connect to and the chances of not finding one is negligible. But if at all you are not able to find the device you want to connect to, you also get an option to record your own remote. Additionally, you can also get to control smart devices that are connected using Wi-Fi like the Rohu Stick or the Amazon Echo. In the free version, there are limitations in the number of remotes that you can add, but you can lift that restriction if you plan to upgrade to the Pro version. The second in the list is the A-Smart Remote IR. While Anymote is a feature-packed app, but it has too complex for some of the users out there. A Smart Remote IR hosts top brands and devices that you can control any TV and setup box and also DSLR cameras and even ACs. For better management, you can create different rooms with sets of remote and easily switch between them using the tab at the top. Personally, I like the interface of a smart remote IR when compared to any mode and the option of getting the display remote for air conditioner is the killer addition. The app is free though it has ads at the bottom, one can still live with it. The only downside is that there is no option to manually record a remote like that we had on any mode. The third app in the list is Peel Remote and this one is for the users who wish to control their TVs and just the set of boxes. Now you might ask me why to use Peel for these devices when you already got any mode and the A remote with various features. Well, the good thing about the Peel app is that it binds with your setup box and provides smart show notifications and TV guide listing based upon your watching preference. Peel is super simple to use no matter where you live, what brand of TV or setup box you own or who provides the service. It's very simple to configure all the TV channels that you want to see and then you just need to tap on the app and it will automatically redirect you to the channel. So friends, those were the top IR remote apps that you can use on your Android if you're not satisfied with the stock IR remote app that you get. If you have any doubts, please do ask me in the comment section and if you haven't liked or subscribed, please do hit the respective buttons. This was Ashish from Guiding Tech and I hope to see you in my next videos. Till then, take care and have a wonderful day.